So the way I start my um, dresses for my photo shoot is I just get a piece of material and all I'm going to do is I'm going to create pleats in it. So to create pleats all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over and put it back to the side again and I'm just going to go pin it there. Alright, so there's your first one. My second one, I'm just taking taking it and I'm going to put it over and over. And I'm going to go pin it there. Alright, your next one. Take it there, fold it over, and I'm going to go pin it there. And I just do this all the way across my piece of material. And you can see that it's forming the pleats, and that's how it's going to look. Alright, when you're done, all what you're going to do is take your sewing machine and go and stitch across it. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch, so you'll just really hand stitch those corners. You see there's a back, just make sure that corner is together and that corner is together. And that's it for a single pleat. So when you're finished, this is what the single pleat is really going to look like. So to create a double pleat, you're just going to do one like that. And do one and just let it slightly overlap at the back. So you're going to do it like that, and it overlaps at the back. And then you're just going to put that in there. I'm just going to put another one here for now, safety pin here. Okay, and there you've got a double pleat. In here you can just leave some more space, and then you go and you create your next one. So you'll pin it there. and just put it over, pin it there and then you'll have a double so that's what the double looks like this is the double pleated skirt so it really depends what you like also um, you don't have to worry about this being too neat or tidy or um, it's going to get hidden anyways. I'll show you, I'm going to show you how to make a sash belt. You can put a sash belt over. You can just put a piece of ribbon over. You can put a tool over. You can put a belt over. So um, this is always getting hidden. It's that, So that's not the train smash. Um, and also I don't worry about any zips or anything like that because I just really tie it around my model and then I just put it together with a safety pin behind her so it's really just one piece of material that looks like this. To create a sash belt what you're going to do is can you're going to get a pattern of um, a flower you can just google it or I'll put a link in the comments to the pattern that I used for, the, for this flower. You're going to just put it down and you're going to cut out. You're going to cut out probably five to six um, to make one flower. So when you've got your five pieces of flour, you're just going to pinch the middle of it and just let it drop and then it's going to form a point and just hold that there. You'll take your next piece, just pinch that, it will automatically, automatically make its own fold and just put that on top like that. Third piece, just pinch it, it will make its own fold just make sure your points are together. So your fourth piece, make it fold, just put it over. And your next piece, point it, will make a fold and put it over. And all what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just get a piece of cotton and thread and I'm just going to put these, thread these all together. Just make sure you do catch each one and then just sew it there and that's what it's going to look like. You can use different materials in between so if I've got there one and 
and I wanted some brown and I just put that there and then I'll just take another piece here you do want to use different shades and just that it doesn't look like one boring color um, and you can also layer it as, as many as you want you don't have to stick to just five pieces you can use as many pieces as you want so and that's what it will look like with the brown in between all right so you want to stitch this here you want to make a couple of these it depends what size of sash you want how big you want it um, but you do want to make a few I would say maybe five or six and um, you can use all different materials as well you are going to cut um, <clears throat> quite a lot of these and it is quite tedious it does get a bit boring um, but while I was cutting mine out I figured a bit of a easier way on how to do it and I just took a piece of material and you can just fold it over a few times however many you can get put your piece of material here and then just cut it and that way I'm going to be getting three at a time by just cutting this one you do want to pin them down though and make sure they they're quite steady over there I don't have a piece of um, ribbon yet that matches my flowers I need to go look for that so I'll just use this for now um, so you're going to want to make a few flowers uh, however many you want and all you're going to do is arrange them onto your piece of ribbon so um, you can either use a hot glue gun and just put it on um, but I would also highly suggest that you just stitch it to make sure that it's secure and just basically you're just going to arrange them however you want it overlap them though um, that's key put some in front some behind and then just create create what you want so that's just bunching them all but yeah go mad